Frank Poor, Commerce Hub has officially been spun off from Liberty Interactive. So how does it feel to be out on your own and independent? Hey, it feels great. It's a great milestone uh, for the company and our employees and our investors uh, to finally be spun out. Uh, we've been at it pretty intensely for the last uh, seven months. Uh, so kudos to my team for making it happen. You know, in many ways, uh, a lot has changed. And in many ways, not much has changed. We want to continue to execute day to day on the strategy we've set forth. Uh, but as far as it being a new day, we, we now have a public currency. We stand on our own. We think it's the right time to come out, unlock value for shareholders. And you trade under the ticker CHUBA and CHUBK, right? That's correct. That's right, so correct. two classes of shares. But let's take a step back for a second. Talk about your place in the e-commerce order fulfillment system. How do you get uh, retailers to use your system to deliver their goods to end users? Absolutely. So, um, you know, I like to think of it as more of omni-channel commerce. Um, I look at Commerce Hub as a distributed commerce network. That's what we are. We're cloud-based. We connect retailers and suppliers. We connect marketplaces. We connect distributors, brands, delivery agents. If you think about it, distributed commerce, um, it, there's a virtualized way to do this. You can, as a retailer, go out and buy a lot of products and stock those products, outlay capital for inventory and warehouses, or you can adopt a virtual model, which is what we enable, where you can connect directly to suppliers, carry an endless aisle of products without the risk. Um, we provide all of the integration tools to connect any supplier for that retailer, and we give them all the kinds of applications to be able to monitor the supply chain like Big Brother to ensure that products are getting delivered on time. Uh, it's very complicated for a retailer to leverage thousands of suppliers sending out tens of thousands of orders for thousands of different SKUs, all with different delivery dates. And we orchestrate and normalize that to make it possible. And can you talk about how you make money? You get a little bit of, of each sale. How do you uh, profit from uh, all these transactions that are going on? I think you've had, what, about 87 or 88 million in sales in 2015? That was our revenue. Yes, absolutely. We processed last year through the platform about $11.5 billion of goods on behalf of our retailers and brands. And the way our model works is we get a subscription fee from retailers and suppliers, both our customers, who connect to the platform, and we also get a per order charge for each order going through the, the system. Okay, uh, and what's your outlook for the rest of the year? And also talk about your impact uh, on, uh, on small retailers as opposed to larger retailers, because you work with the likes of Amazon and Walmart. You know, are you another nail in the coffin of small retailers? Um, I think in many ways we also help uh, small, smaller retailers achieve uh, demand. So, there, as I said, we connect retailers, suppliers, brands, marketplaces, search, social. So we connect all sources of demand we can, to, with all sources of supply, wherever the inventory might exist. And we also connect all sources of delivery so that we can orchestrate the entire process. And what about your outlook for the rest of the year? Well, we, we're not, we, we, we've uh, published what we published and, uh, you know, we're going to continue to advance on our existing plan and uh, we'll decide what we want to talk about going forward. All right. Is there anything you're going to miss about working with Liberty Interactive, John uh, Malone? Well, I, I got to tell you that Liberty is a fantastic partner. They've been a fantastic partner um, and they've given us a great opportunity for growth. Um, we're going to still have uh, some Liberty guys, Dr. Malone, Greg Maffail, still own shares as independent uh, LaVinta shareholders. Um, but uh, in general, I'm still going to have a couple of them on the board, and so I look forward to their continued guidance. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Frank. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching The Street.